Hello, I'm excited because today we're going to add a little bit of physics to our game. So we're going to do that by using the rigid uh, body component and we'll be able to run into different objects, jump a couple ramps and uh, work around with gravity and the mass a little bit uh, today. So I'm excited. So let's get started. Um, first, just click play, see what we have. We have a tank that's driving around with a camera following, uh, which we did in our previous tutorials. But this map is pretty boring so far. So what we'll do is we'll get out of play mode. We'll go create other, and let's create a cube. Let's go to move, move that guy up, make it a little bit bigger. Remember, the we can switch through these keys here, the Q, W, E, R. So if I click um, R, I can make that cube wider and taller. And I can move it by clicking W. So I'm gonna right click, mouse, spin around a little bit so I can get that in the right spot I want it. Um, Looks like it's on the ground good, so perfect. And then what I'll also do is I will um, copy that and paste. So now I have two of these guys. I'm gonna move this guy out so we can see both of those. And then we'll copy it one more time. And with this last one, what we're gonna do is um, make it into a ramp. So we can do that by using the rotation, go to E, rotate this guy a little bit and then we'll move it down so perfect expand that and we'll make it a little less of a ramp so perfect now let's play and see what what happens um, when we run into these objects so because we don't have the rigid body we're just gonna drive right through those so no physics at all so that's not very fun so so let's add some physics so we're gonna select on our tank. We're gonna click Add Component, go to Physics, and select Rigid Body. So here's all the properties for Rigid Body. We go back into Play Mode. And again, I did that in the parent to the tank. Oh, you can see things are a little weird. Bouncing around, what is going on? So this would be a little bit frustrating if, if this is the first time you're playing Rigid Body and you have no idea what's going on. So to fix that, what we can do is we're going to freeze rotation for the um, for the X and uh, Z axis. See what that does. So that's a little a little more under control, a little more realistic. We're not floating all the way around. So now let's try hitting one of these guys. You can see that we can no longer drive through them. So that's pretty sweet. So let's say you're pretty excited and you want to play this in full screen. So just make sure you're in the game tab. Uh, it looks like we have to go out of play mode. Click space bar and you can get full screen. Then you just go back into play mode and you can drive around full screen. We can go up ramps like so. Do a couple jumps. But if you're as picky as I am, you'll notice that when we go up this ramp, I'm going to get out of play mode real quick. Click space bar again. And go back into play mode so I can get that side shot easily from the scene view. When we go up this ramp, it's not going up the ramp like you would expect like a rectangular object to go up a ramp. The rigid body is actually working against that sphere collider that um, is one of the components of our uh, children underneath this parent. So I'm going to get out of play mode and we can see who's the culprit of that. So we click on Q. We see there's a box collider there. Um, let's see, try leaving that, but the cylinder, um, that's up top, that shouldn't do too much damage. This guy is what's causing the problem. So I'm going to uncheck this, and I'm going to try it again. So let's go play. Let's try going up this ramp again. Ah, we forgot to uh, un check those freeze rotations in our rigid body component. So I'm going to uncheck these. Click play again and that should give us what we're looking for. So take a look. We're going up that ramp. Oh, perfect. It's exactly, that's very way more realistic, right? So very cool. I'm excited. All right, so let's play around with a couple more things with physics. Next, uh, let's get our play mode. Let's take one of these um, cubes right here, bring it up a little bit. And now let's click play, and you'll see it just floats there. That's because it doesn't have any physics applied to it, so gravity is not a factor. So what we can do is go to play mode, and we can just apply a rigid body to this cube. 
So cube selected, add component, uh, physics, rigid body, then click play again. You'll notice now it has gravity and it'll fall down when we click play. Of course, you could always uncheck gravity, click play, and it will no longer affect it. Um, but something to play around with. Also, one thing if you notice, if we select on our tank and we unchecked all of the box colliders, if we unchecked all of those, what would happen is we'd fall right to that floor because there's nothing colliding. So if there's no box collider, then um, it doesn't have anything interacting with the physics. So anyways, hope you learned something. Can't wait for our next tutorial. Cheers.